Hey guys, what's up? Kyle Hunt, Hunt Fitness. I love the gym. If you're with me, if you're in that same position as me, I want to see that in the comments. Hashtag, I fucking love the gym. But in all serious, I really do. I love the gym. And because of that, it makes me really hate and despise rest days. Now I know they're, they're, uh, they're definitely needed. Don't take it too literal. Don't take uh, me hating and despising rest days too literal. And as we're going to explain in this video, they are necessary. But let's think beyond the typical two to three rest days in a week scheduled on certain days. Because as a beginner, yeah, I'm not, I'm not talking to you beginners out there. You beginners, you're not ready to auto-regulate your rest days as I'm about to, to dive into. You're going you're gonna to see a lot more benefit in scheduling your rest days because you don't know how to you don't know how you're supposed to feel yet you don't know how sore is too sore to get a good training session in or or how maybe injuries a little nagging injuries affect your training quite yet or or how your central nervous system responds to intensity and volume and the such what you're watching right now is actually an active recovery day by me i started out with some speed benching don't take it too literal again because i didn't really Think of it as a uh, West Side barbell dynamic effort, you know, speed bench. I mean, if I, if I did do that, it'd probably have a little bit of accommodating resistance, maybe use some bands, some chains. I didn't really do that. I was just looking for a submax weight, a lightweight. I used 225 and hit a quick, easy three reps for uh, seven or eight sets uh, to get in a little bit of work. It was a day that uh, I needed a little bit of a break. It was just uh, a day I still wanted to get in the gym. I still wanted to do some upper body movement. So it's an upper body recovery day. Took everything easy, took everything light, left a bunch of reps in the tank, but that was all right. I left the gym feeling great, which was the, the goal going into the workout. So what I want to talk about today is active recovery and auto-regulating your rest days. First point I want to make is shit happens. Especially when you're busy, you run a business, you have kids, you live a life like me, you're not going to be able to hit your, your rest days 100% on point every week. That's why I don't like to schedule them in. A lot of my programs, even when I write for clients, it's I write day one through day five or day six or whatever, and I let them, as long as they're not beginners, again, we're not talking to you guys, we're talking to people who are intermediates and past that. Once you get to know your body a little bit better, and you can just take rest days when they're needed. It's not always Monday's this, Tuesday's that. It's day one's this, day two is that. And you can take a rest day whenever you feel it. And let's think about why you actually take a rest day in the first place. One would be just to give your central nervous system a break. You're training hard, training heavy. Your central nervous system gets broken down. You're not able to put the output out. That's level one. Level two would be the actual muscle, which you can train a sore muscle. A sore muscle is not an indication that you necessarily need a rest day. However, if it's so sore you can't hit the adequate intensity or volume that you're needed, then yeah, it can hinder your training performance a little bit. But that's not always uh, the case. I would say your central nervous system and just overall feel and energy is a lot more uh, crucial to determining a rest day than actual muscle soreness. So that's, that's step one. But as long as you're feeling all right, this is where the auto-regulation auto comes in. Train. If day three is supposed to be a rest day, but you feel great on day three, move on to day four and train. Because you know what? You guys all know you're going to feel like shit at some point in the week when you're supposed to train. And that's the day you should do a rest day. Now, this is where I'm going to move on to talk about a little bit of recovery and kind of how I like to do it. I always kind of am the, in, have the opinion that some movement's better than none. I don't like, I mean, I love the gym, like I said in the beginning of the video. So I would always rather be doing something than doing absolutely nothing. Now, that doesn't mean you have to be in the gym lifting as an active recovery. That's sometimes what I choose. But, again, you have to program that in. And I, I typically don't program that, program that in for my clients. I kind of just say, here's your workout days. You know, for your rest days, you can kind of use your own discretion what you want to do. I mean, you can always help you out, but uh, but the point is, some movement is better than none. 
It doesn't have to be the gym. It can be mo- just mobility work. If you have any cardio in your program, maybe do that on the day you're not lifting. Uh, you just There's numerous things that you can do to stay active rather than just sitting on the couch. And that's all I got for you guys. So until next time, peace. Thank you.